How you guys doing today? This is Mark Franks from PlentyOfGadgets.com. Today I want to start my first video for this channel off by uh, showing you guys how to create or how I create a solar office. So this is basically a solar shed office. It's like seven feet away from my house. I just kind of wanted that off-grid feeling, that off-grid off scenery. I didn't want to run wire underground uh, to the shed. So I just kind of want to experiment with it. So guys, what I have here, I have a 100 watt mono crystalline solar panel that just means it's one crystal and there's there's different ones but these are great a mono a crystalline solar panel is great for low level lighting so this is a this costs i believe i paid a hundred dollars for this on amazon it has the positive and the negative wire running to the shed so let's go take a look at the shed and see how i did this because building a solar office is it's pretty it's pretty easy so let's go in the shed and take a look so kind of since the coronavirus, you know, I have to work in, in my shed. So I had to kind of add a couple more things in here. I had, um, I've been having a solar office for about a year, but I just recently added an extra battery. So let's go ahead and turn my utility light on. Let it come on here. This utility light up here I got, it's two sections to it, two legs. I got from uh, Home Depot, I believe about 50 or $60. I'll put all this in the comments below, uh, but it's supposed to take about 40 watts. So it's perfect for what I need for my solar panel. So let's kind of see what I got set up here, guys. And if you, will, you want to do this, if you have a barnyard or you have a solar shed or you have a, a hunting cabin and you're just way out in the woods or something and you want, to, you want some electricity out there, uh, I think this is a perfect little setup that I did here. So basically, guys, I have the positive and a negative wire going into the charge controller. This is basically the brains of the outfit. Um, I have a 30 amp breaker here uh, for, for my positive. So if if I have a surge on my solar panels, you know, my it, it'll it'll basically break. This will this will trigger right here, keeping my wires from burning. I also got 10 gauge wire. These are pretty thick wires. I think a lot of people have 12 gauge. These are pretty thick wires. So if there is a surge. These can take up to 30 amps as well. So I have it going into the, um, what have these two going? Into the battery, I'm gonna the solar panel here. So you, if you look close, you'll see where it says solar, solar panel. It'll, it'll, you know, it's a picture and it'll be positive and negative and you have batteries positive and negative and you have your, a load on here. And sometimes I put a load on here. I have a small fan in the back that I'll put a load on just to get some of the heat out here. Right. And it has a uh, um, USB. And this is kind of for the load as well. So going over to my battery, and this is, you know, I had my first battery when I did my first video. My first video was a um, 35 little small amp hour battery. So I have since messed this battery up. I think I just charged it, I think below 50%, and maybe it was 30, 40%. It just started acting up. So I went back to Amazon and bought a Mighty Max. I like, I like the Mighty Max brand. They're pretty, pretty solid AGM batteries. Um, they can um they can last uh, they can last a long time um this is a 100 amp hour i'm sorry this is a 55 amp hour battery which you you can only you you can only um charge a battery down to about 50 percent so this is using i think roughly but somewhere between 27 at 50 percent so i want to add since the coronavirus i wanted to have, go ahead and add another battery so i can have about a little bit over 50 amps of power in here so i went ahead and added another battery another 55 mighty max amp hour battery and i have it set for parallel um and when i say parallel i have it i have two batteries connected i have one positive to positive in the back and negative to negative in the back what this does is it increases the uh, capacity of the battery but it keeps the the same volt so it's still a 12 volt 12 volt battery system so if I wanted to do something like a 24 volt, I would just connect the positive to the negative and the negative to the positive there on that side. So this is kind of what I have going on right here and how I have my charge controller going to this battery since I have two batteries. Because when I have one, I'll just have, you know, I have a positive going to the negative on here. I want to kind of keep my batteries balanced correctly. So I have from the charge controller, I have another breaker, 30 amp breaker on the positive. I just want to be extra careful. I really need to put a, a breaker. Um, I'm sorry, a breaker right here as well. I know this is a black wire. I have a red little 
So I bought a couple of just black wires from Amazon, but I have like a little a red tab here to, you know, just to show me that it's uh, a positive instead of a negative. So I ha how I have this going, I have this positive going to the positive on the first battery, my main battery, and I have uh, the negative going to the negative on the back new battery um, instead of just having them on both ends, on, have, instead of having them on this positive and this negative here. This way, my battery is well balanced. All right, so and that's why that's kind of how I wanted it. I wanted it to be one huge battery, same volts, larger capacity. So, but my with my alligator clips, I have my alligator clips going to a 1,000 watt power inverter that converts my DC electricity to AC that so that I can have appliances in here. And as you can see, I have the light in here. I have the Vernado fan, a turbine fan that kind of blows air. You know, I have a little cowboy studio lighting system for my uh, YouTube channels. I do life coaching on my other YouTube channel. So it does everything that I needed to do. I just needed some more capacity. What I am gonna do, I did buy, I purchased another 100 watt solar panel. So I can have a 200 watt solar panel and I'm, I'm gonna purchase another battery. And I think I should be pretty, pretty good for, for what I need in a solar shed. So all together in the next maybe a few months, I'll have a 200 watts monocrystalline solar panels and I'll have three 55 amp hour batteries, which will probably get me close to about 100 amp amps of power capacity that I have in this, in here in this uh, solar office. So this runs completely, completely off of solar. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, just leave your comments below how I did it. It's very, very simple. Uh, let me think how, how much did this all cost? I would say, I, you know, all this probably five or $600 maybe less than that and you can get it less than that because you don't have to have a thousand watt uh power inverter this costs right here about thirty dollars uh these are about 20. um solar panels are 100 each and now the batteries now the batteries are going to run you is about 109 each so the batteries and the solar and the solar panels they're about four hundred dollars just like that but you don't need two solar panels you can have one 100 watt solar panel depending on what you're going to do i do a lot in here this is now my office so I do a lot in here, um, but that's it. Um, next, next review, I'm going to review this thing that I have in my backyard. It is a solar street light, and I'm telling you, this thing works wonders. You never need to hook up another light again, never need to run wire for it. But you guys, this is our, our first video at plentyofgadgets.com. Uh, you guys have a nice day. Bye-bye.